Boris Johnson says he has accepted full responsibility for the findings of Sue Gray's Partygate report, but insists that he will stay on as the British Prime Minister. Joining me live now from London is Sky News reporter Ali Fortescue. Ali, good morning to you. Uh, good evening where you are. Can you just run us through for our audience some of the details of the report? Yeah, just to remind people, the Met Police here already issued 126 fines in relation to people in Downing Street breaking lockdown rules. One was a Prime Minister, one was a Chancellor. But this is the Sue Gray report we've been waiting for for such a long time into the culture that was going on in Downing Street where the Prime Minister lives at the height of lockdown. And the details really are damning. So there's, for example, just to give you an example of one event that it looked into in June, it talks about excessive drinking. It talks uh, about there being wine on the walls. It talks about one person vomiting. Um, and it, it says that there had been a culture of drinking. And it says that the leadership really are to blame. And I quote, the senior leadership at the centre, both political and official, must bear responsibility for this culture. Worth saying, too, it also talks about cleaning staff being mistreated and people saying that they felt like they couldn't speak out properly. So clearly, really uncomfortable reading for the Prime Minister. No sign of him going, though. He um, has apologised. He says he's appalled by what happened, but he is standing firm and he is definitely not going anywhere for now. OK, so, I mean, he's made of Teflon, is Boris Johnson. So does this have any impact on him whatsoever, Ali? Well, I think what we saw earlier in the year was more momentum when it came to his own MPs turning against him. And that is the only way, really, that he would be forced to go. At the moment, 16 MPs, another one was added to that list today, are calling for him to go. Obviously, opposition MPs are absolutely furious. There has clearly been some cut through with the public here. Um, but I think the mood on the Conservative benches right now is that they want to move on to the other big issue that's dominating the agenda here, and that's the cost of living. But the Prime Minister is definitely weakened by this. He does have the space in his own party. He did before. There's going to be an announcement on the cost of living tomorrow. But I think lots of MPs just find this really embarrassing on and off the record, particularly the sort of details around some of these events. So he's definitely been weakened. It's obviously not a good look at all, but it does look like Boris Johnson, the great survivor, will live another day. OK. Ali, appreciate that. Thank you for joining us. We'll talk to you again soon.